All right. It's been a busy few months since Elite Dangerous reintroduced community goals and the Galnet in-game news feed. This week Rini and I caught up with the lead community manager for Elite Dangerous Arthur Tolmy to chew over Galnet's rebirth, the next generation of community goals, the Halloween event and of course the Channel 4 news team. So Arthur's here everybody. Welcome, for, welcome along Arthur. Hello hello hello. Hello, thank you very much for having me on your show. Big fan, big fan. Long time wow. listener, first time caller. <laughs> <laughs> it is a pleasure to Brilliant. have you here. Well, we uh, we really enjoyed the well, we're really enjoying the um, the rebirth of Galnet and the community goals and all that kind of stuff and the Halloween thing in particular mm -hmm. just absolutely blew our socks off, didn't we? So we yeah, just wanted to sort of catch up with you and frankly sure. throw some questions your way and see if we can get some information out of you if you're game. Sure, you, well, you can you can try. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the, re the, the rebirth and galnet of uh, community goals was publicly announced around the start of September l this year, if I remember correctly. Are you able to say what triggered the relaunch uh, of both of those things? Was it was it always in the company plan to restart it at that point, or is it a, literally a case of you saw the level of demand from the community and 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 acted Founded on it? them yeah. relentlessly until it happened. Yeah, yeah, this is what we want to um, do. <laughs> Well, I guess the answer is, I mean, I joined in June. So I, I joined in uh, June of, of, of this year. I mean, this year feels like a long, feels like 10 years. Uh, but I joined <laughs> June of this year. Um, so when I joined, I was a fan of Elite beforehand. And obviously, I, I, I was aware of, of what Gannett was and how important it was to the community as, and for me as a player. Um, also, the team, when I joined, the first thing I did as, as lead was to, to speak to the guys and see what the real big issues were. And all of the team were like, look, we need, Gannett needs to come back. Uh, we need to do some some meaningful content. Um, and that was where we started. So whether it was always the company's proposal, I can't imagine it would ever have been gone for forever. Um, but I wasn't here when it was when it stopped. If that makes sense. So yeah. one of my priorities when I when I came back was to listen to the guys and be like, right, how do we action this and how do we get this moving and what direction do we want us to go in? Um, and I fought really hard, and the team worked really really hard behind the scenes to 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 put together um, how we how we would propose it and what it would look like and what it would need need in terms of resources, which you can imagine at the time mm. um, the 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 business is in full swing into into Odyssey development. So when you're asking for resources, there's always got to be a reason for it. So you know it wasn't just a simple switch of uh, we're just going to press this button and get yeah. it's back. And um, there was a, there was a lot of backwards and forwards. And I'm just really I, I'm actually just really pleased that the community were, were so patient with this as as they have been. So so is yeah, it, I hope that answers your question. Yeah, it does. It, was there is there a sort of was there literally like a sorry if you don't mind me throwing another one at you was there is there was no, there no. literally sort of a meeting when you arrived when the kind of the three of you sat down and it was kind of like right tell me what the problems are or tell me what everybody's yelling about okay, well fun fact my first actual working day um was when i was being introduced to the, to the company was the fleet carrier launch and as oh. you can imagine that was so, uh, so wow. my first day wasn't necessarily a meeting of what's the problem my first day was a meeting of let's put this fire out and let's have a, let's have a conversation um so um so, yeah, so, so sorry say again in at the deep end yes wow. it was definitely the, wow. I mean, think or swim right so but it's fine yeah. because what was great is i got to see the team in action and it, and like i say that they, they it was nice for me because it, i was new to the company so i had to really take stock of like who my team are and what, what they're doing mm. Uh, and they actually all of them really cared so i was like this is fantastic because I've, I've now got good grounds and then i think it was the following week we i sat them down with it, like on an individual basis and spoke to them about you know their, their wants and concerns etc etc and they all raised you know content gown it content gown it and mm. i was like yes i'm glad we're all on the same page here so it was good it was good to sit down and, and, and have everyone sort of with the same strategy before you have to set, don't have to sell that into them as a team they were already on board I'd love okay. to. I'd love to be a fly on the wall for those meetings, wouldn't you? Cool, wouldn't you just? So that kind of plays <laughs> into the next thing, anyway. So how the the CMs actually became involved in the storyline, and, and what your the, the involvement of your team is in 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 those actual storylines. Yeah, sure. Um, so when we talked about again, it goes back, I guess, to my first the answer to the first question. Um, when you go back and ask for resource and stuff. Um, we have to have a long-term plan, so we sat down and decided how this, how these story arcs would, would tie in with with the content we were we come into the game, um, with what we know is coming, anyways. I've got to tread very carefully here. Um, so <laughs> no, I don't. So we, it's fine. So, <laughs> it's fine. Skip up. It's, it won't go any further. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, of course, no. Um, no so one watches we, this rubbish. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> so we we sat down uh, and there's and we scoped out um, how we thought these stories would pan out and what stories would be interesting and how they would dovetail into one another. Um, and I guess um, 
we then scoped out this this grand score a story arc um and i, I and there, there was a document and i do you know what i'm gonna do i'll do it after this i'll find it my, my I'm not, i can't obviously show it today but i will in 2022 and here's my promise okay. i will screen cap today the actual marvel-esque style wow imagery that i we put together as a team that goes up to 2022 oh god and, and I'll, I'll, scre- I'll, I'll screen cap it and then in 2022 i'll show it just to say i wasn't lying and um, this is what we did so okay. we then wrote this all out and we're like this is what we think should happen Obviously, the first year that you were in right now is the most detailed, mm-hmm. and then it sort of sort of phases off because obviously, a at yeah, that yeah. point we didn't know if it, if it would get signed off, and and then b it was like well we could do all this work and they could turn around and say well, that's great, go go somewhere else with it because you're not we're not doing it here, but yeah. thankfully that didn't happen. Um, so it was it was a it was a case of uh, mapping all out and then and then getting uh, Lawrence uh, Lawrence Olden. Um, I don't know if you know who he is, but uh, Lawrence I was uh, I think he was. Uh, lead designer and elite um prior to um pierce who we have now but right. lawrence is a big big um like component in this like lawrence was was a huge element in getting this worked in he was a, a big fan of it he wanted it to happen he was like look i can make this work with a, with a small team and he really re- was oh, really on our brilliant. side um and, and i i say it on stream but the, lawrence and his team really should um, take a lot of credit because although we pushed for it and we scoped it out, that are guys that really made that the turn the turn the key and made these things happen. So um if you're listening, Lawrence, um love's a strong word, but I do love you, Phil. All, all we do for us. He's, he's he's a good good guy. He should get a lot of credit for it, but at the end of the day you're the front man, so you know. <laughs> yeah, why don't, why don't, bad, tell fact, you what, Lawrence so do <laughs> Why don't you have a little cry about it? Have you got have you got any idea how how long did it did it take for the whole sort of all the way through to twenty twenty two? How long did it take to get all that mapped out? Um, wow well, yeah so that took to be fair the parts after the first um i want to say phase uh, i'll say phase i was told never to use that term but you know <laughs> don't do what i'm told and um, so i i actually did map it out into phases so there are four phases and we're in phase one at the moment of, of how we mapped it out um the first phase took the longest um but i would say in, in if you were to look at man hours um it's a hard one because it went through a lot of people and we, a lot of us spent time on it. I, I don't know, with maybe 40, 50 hours wow. um, of of us iterating on this this should fit here and this should go here and this this time go in there and and obviously it's it's our overarching story, which right. is still gotta leave room for manipulation depending on what players do. So it's it's quite difficult to to, to scope that in. So you've got to have a story that, that will fit an outcome with a slightly different ending, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you could never. I mean, I'll be honest. I'll be. I'll, I'll be entirely honest. You could. No one could ever script an entirely open-ended story because no, it's no, impossible. No, no, no. Like, um, so we have to have a start and an end. Um, so yeah, I'd say it took us about about um, about fifty hours. I'd say, but it's probably more than that. But I'd say about fifty hours. Tense. So is there like one you know a story person, a, a specific person that sits there all day and makes this stuff? up all day long or so, is it always a team so there is there is a team but there is a writer who will, who will, okay. who will go along and, and actually put into like i'm i'm definitely not a writer um but you, you you there's lawrence will so we have our overarching um sort of story we know what's going to happen and where and when we know what the you know so and so is going to be killed and this thing's going to blow up but and these are the people behind it, but then the, the actual wording of all the gownet and stuff like that, and the articles will go to an actual writer who will write all that okay. stuff up. Who did you say Come. was going to get killed? <laughs> did I, I say killed? Keep trying. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So when it, so if you're, is is there is there like a, I don't know, I, I want to say David, but that's too much of a cliche. But is there like a person that kind of sits above and says, yes, you can kill that person, or no, you oh, can't no, kill David. that person. It is David. It is David. So it does literally yeah, go no, to David. David. Look, wow. The, the, the and what's his phone number? Is, is, yeah. <laughs> it's 1-800, I'm not telling you. So, um, yeah, no, it's David. Like, don't, don't get me wrong, David is incredibly, incredibly busy, but he, his passion for elite, like, yeah. he, it's, it's, it's really, it's, it's very cliche to go, oh, yeah, you're going to say that. Like, the guy lives and breathes it, he created it. Um, he has a hand in everything. It's a, it's a big decision. It goes to David. Um, um, as an as an example, um, well, I'm sure we'll talk about it later on. But the um, the ghost ship stuff that went to David. David was um, was really keen on making sure we we get that right and we and we don't tamper with with history and law. He's Isn't basically our George Lucas. So you you would always go to him for like, can we do this? this? Is what we want to do? Is this feasible? Because you know, um, 
like instantaneously whether this is right or wrong whether x person would do this or it's within their character etc cetera, etc cetera. so yeah it's david that's brilliant and that could that's really good that's to know isn't it very i mean you kind of you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of blokes my age who are listening to this are probably crying now <laughs> well, i say a lot three crying or four and happiness mm. <laughs> so why round is the is the overarching story created is that so do you start at the end point that you're trying to drive to and then all the beats in between are sort of built up in reverse or yes you always start at the beginning and then you know the various plot twi- twists no, I, the end point one, one thing i was very clear on when when we started it i was like where do we want to be mm. at this point and once we've established that i was like right now we can work backwards okay it's okay. far yeah. easier to do that to say like i know where i need to be and i know because you know where you are makes sense I don't know. Yeah. so yeah so it's like, i want to be here at this point so what do i need to do in the you know the months in between to get us to this point and that's when you can that i'll be honest that we found that creatively was was so not easy but it was it just gave so many options you were just like right we could do this and at this point we need to be here because once you once you know your end point you know where you want to be you're like right realistically in the middle we now know we should be at this stage so therefore you, your first half needs to get to the middle point and then the middle point gets you to your end point so it's it yeah. sounds obvious but it really is a lot easier starting backwards yeah yeah, like yeah. Where, where you're going to end yeah. yeah and there is actually um there is actually stuff that you're obviously not looking for spoilers but there is actually stuff that you're trying that you've got to fit your your plot into or does it or does it sit entirely on top of yeah, a different I mean, layer if you know I like, what i mean no yeah no I'll, I'll be totally honest so we we where sort of development of um sort of the elite dangerous as a whole is going for the next few years we kind of know where we want to be at what stage so and there is obviously the option that some that might shift depending on development etc etc obviously we live in a very strange world at the moment where mm. one minute we're back in the office next minute we're back out of the office so it's very odd um but yes so um to answer your question this the story we do know what's coming and the story does kind of um complement that very very nicely um and there are big milestones we kind of want to make sure the story is crescendoing at those points to okay. to really emphasize it and again those crescendos very much will fit with with what we want to do but i can't say too much and i don't know like over egg it but it is a case of we try and fit our stories alongside what the de- development development team are doing and obviously sometimes that ebbs and flows as well with what the world is doing so okay 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 so um one thing that you've said which everybody picked up on is that everything happening right now is for a reason. We quote you. It's you've said it's for a reason. So we're assuming the um, Galnet stories uh, as well that might not have had uh, have an apparent appearance in the game currently. Uh, in particular, with regards to stories like the proposed core dynamics and Lake on Spaceways merger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, look, absolutely. Look, everything we're doing happens for a, a reason, and the, okay. all the stuff that's going on. And again, I'm, I, I, I did promise I'd never spoil, so I'm not going to spoil too much. But you have to, the way the way we looked at this is obviously it's a long story arc. Um, so some of this stuff will be um, some of this stuff directly relates to stuff, and you can you can work it out. Like obviously, there's the CGs that are running, and mm. um, uh, and people are, oh, I can see there's an endpoint here, and obviously that you know the the, the the feds and the the empire are having a bit of a dust up, a bit of a cold war going on between them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's some obvious stuff, and there's also stuff that later on down the line you're like, oh, I understand now. I understand right, so you're kind of laying tracks right. for what's to come. So it's, it's kind of like, it's it's not even like it's, and sometimes these articles won't be huge. It will just be a case of, you. if you really looked, you'd be like, said, oh, I get it. I see. That's what, that was the start of this, and that's okay. what caused okay. X, Y, and Z. So it's very clever. And I'm not saying because it's my idea, because it isn't my idea. This is the writer. Um, it's so this is they they are very clever at doing um this sort of world building in terms of like it may seem like an innocuous thing, yeah. But when you look back at it, when you step back, you'll see actually I see now that's where the and it, this isn't by the way, what I'm about to say now is not spoiler specific. I'm just giving an example. You go, Oh, I see that's the point where the rot set in and that's yeah, that was the start of it. And then you'll be like, then you see it. But right now it might just be, oh, okay, so and so's moved position in this company. It doesn't mean anything to me. Oh, okay. It doesn't. Sure. Okay. That's really interesting, isn't it? Oh, that's that, it's, it's brilliant because that yeah. must be such fun to be involved in that. That must be yeah. brilliant. And also, you're it's kind of waiting, waiting for the sort of almost the penny to drop in a whole community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably go. <gasps> you can see your audience, and the, you know the, it must be nice for the writers to sort of sit back and go, "That'd oh, be interesting to see when they, yeah, the they click on that part, one." The hardest part, I'll be honest, is the wait. 
because yeah. it's, it's a long story and there's the payoffs yes. come and they'll, they'll be great. Um, and I get it that people are eager for it. I really do. Um, but as I said before, there's something in this for everyone. Like depending on what you're doing, what you what you love Elite for, there's something in these storylines that is there for everyone. Um, so it's just you have to you have to be patient and enjoy what's coming. Like it's not we're not doing anything in between. But like when the payoffs come, they'll be great. Um, and I think you'll enjoy them. I hope you'll enjoy them. Um, we all do. So. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll get my coat. Well, <laughs> <laughs> if it, I mean, if no one enjoys it and it falls flat on its ass, I think every, I think uh, someone else will get your coat for you. To be honest. <laughs> yeah, look, look, and here's the thing: it's like anything we do. We're all like, I always listen. I the team always listen. Like mm. we might have an idea, and we might think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Yeah. And we like, put it out there, and the community just go, "This is awful. You're terrible people. Never do this again." And we're like, "Okay, <laughs> point taken." Yeah. And we move away, and we learn. Like this, this, the way I look at things is is nothing ever really fails unless you don't learn from it yeah, yeah, yeah. so if you learn from, from something then that's fine it's not a failure you've still learned something um, and as long as you don't keep repeating mistakes that's fine that's a good attitude so the on the on the subject of things happening for a reason the the adam astor storyline and we're not we're not looking mm-hmm. for spoilers here was that injected mm-hmm. into the game specifically for a reason or was that was it was it literally just it's a it's a halloween thing well, two things. One, I'm very keen on having special events. I think they, they galvanise the community. I think it's fun. But two, it is there for a reason. It does tie into the existing plot. Um, you know, people are out in the cul sac doing stuff at the moment. There's stories that still continue in the cul sac. Maybe there's a dope result with the Adam Master turning up. Um, who knows what that might lead to later on down the line. Um, you do. But I do. Yeah. <laughs> I, what I'll say is, um, whilst we might have solved the, 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 the fun part of the you know that particular story, it's mm. not the end of of what you know, I'll say anything else. I'm just saying. Okay, it's it's, it's there for a reason. Yeah. Okay, so the the Adam Astor storyline then that was that was the, was the creepy nature of it invented because it was Halloween, or was it just a creepy story that happened to be going on anyway? And then you thought, well, that would work if we slotted it in over the top of Halloween. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, no, it's it's a good question. Um, I think, I, I, and again, I'll be totally honest. Um, the story was there. We it just fits perfectly so but i did ask for it to be a certain a certain way and and, and i did ask for it to be obviously because of the time of year I, I said yeah we should definitely play into what this is all about and let people understand that you know yes there is there is a thargoid element but there's also the the underside of that which is there's a human element to that story which is also very very creepy what's going on and what what's what sort of stuff is happening out there and has been happening for a very very long time that's the mm-hmm. point point that i i i was surprised no one picked up on straight away was the date of the events that were taking place we, at we the MSA. Well, we kind of did, but didn't, well, like, weren't, I suppose, weren't surprised, if you oh, see okay. what I mean. But, like, we kind of yeah, kind yeah. went, oh, okay. I'll tell you what, what actually, I don't, don't, don't feel that you need to answer this as a point at all. No, no, it's fine. But, but the, the thing, I suppose, that, that we, because, my God, there were a lot of discussions in this house, mate, about yeah. what all that <laughs> meant and what that little, and why, why is that rock placed like that? I and, didn't oh, get my obsessed. God. <laughs> Oh my God, Ree was a nightmare. The, you, there's a right, so there's a comms beacon in the middle of the. This is this is completely nothing to do with what I was going to ask you. There's a comms sure. beacon in the middle of the um in, in the middle of the base, the new base at the, um, the mm-hmm. geological site, out and out in the coal sack, and it's got a blinking light on it. You're not allowed to tell half how long we actually spent trying to decode that blinking light. Days. <laughs> we t- we videoed that blinking light in two different states. So the state that it was before you interfaced with it, and the state it was in after you interfaced with it, and we and we ran it through um, Morse, Morse code, code readers to oh, work out. We had the oh we had the Discord God. looking. Our whole Discord was going. Yeah. Well, I think I can see an F and all this light. For God's sakes. Oh, it was you were completely yeah, I mean, obsessed. Re was, I was completely Re was, obsessed. Oh. I was, I was doing clues everywhere. Yeah, all, for, yeah. for, for me, thanks, um, <laughs> and, uh, No, you're, you're welcome. For me, the the, and I said this, I think on the on the night stream uh, before we our internet went down in the office, which is fantastic. Uh, <laughs> but I did say I did say on the uh, on the stream one thing was a good learning process for me was how fast, how how smart our community are. Yeah. Yeah. They were quick. Like they're a nightmare, aren't they? Super yeah. smart the community are when they're a collective. Like yeah. when they work together on something, it's incredible. Yeah. But they're like the ball, got they? Yeah. Fantastic for me because now I can go away and be like, I have these really crazy, elaborate sort of plans, and I was like, maybe it's a bit too complex. Mm. After the Adam Astor, I'm like, not a chance. Yeah. These right. Are, okay. These, Both these barrels. Will be what mm. the community needs. So, um, expecting we do stuff like that, that it, 
It'll be harder. It won't be as in your face as, as, as the last time. They'll be way more subtle, I think. Um, it was so good to see the community. It was the brilliant. Feeling we the, loved it, didn't we? We absolutely loved it. For me, being a fairly new new player as such, mm. the, the feeling of community that came out of that event was just stupendous. It was just amazing that, you know, all over many, multiple discords, everybody was chattering, everybody was decoding, everybody was just brilliant, mm. just brilliant. Yeah, no, it's... Um, it's it brought it, the best of the community out, I thought. It, it really did. And the, th the thing is, it's when the community team and I see the players react, it's such a boon for us. Because that must be brilliant. Yeah. You, you, it, it gives you, it's, it's so hard to explain like how it feels when people say nice things about what we're yeah. doing. because You work so hard for it and, and you, you really hope it does pan out. Mm -hmm. And there's always that big fear of, have we, is it enough? You know, you don't want to let people down. It really is. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. really is the feeling that we have is that we don't want to let the community down. Um, so it's nice when it pays off. Um, so yeah. and, it, and we want to do more of it. And it was nice because it was reflected in, you know, game stats showed everything. But I, I just, it was amazing. As soon as people knew the system, just watching the traffic, just all just swarm into the system. And I was just like, this is amazing to see a community just react like a living, breathing. Well, that must be fantastic. You know, elite dangerous community just moving as one. Yeah. It was amazing. Nice for you guys. Really nice for you guys. Sorry, well the, deserved. The point, sorry, the point that I didn't, because it got all lost in there. The thing that we, that we spent hours pouring over in this house as well and discussing was, um, I can't remember the guy's name, <clears throat> but the one who was left staring oh. at the stones yeah. at the end and, was he he appeared he was under he he appeared to be under their influence or Blue. hypnotized or i don't know Affected. and that's what we were like okay so we contacted the thargoids a lot earlier than we thought we did gotcha okay. but what's going on with that guy mm. that's that's okay. that's what we poured over Dominic Cooper. i'm gonna i'm gonna listen to your answer very carefully now is there anything you'd <laughs> like to add about that at all to dominic cooper yeah um not a lot i can add about that but let's just say it's a very interesting piece of law right okay that they not just he was affected there was a lot of people that seemed yes. to change their yes yes their attitude around the base now i'm not saying that that that's linked to anything particular i'm just saying it's very interesting yeah. that these sort of things happened okay um and who knows i mean you have to look at the time frame between that incident and and where we are right now in the universe there's a, some time has passed <laughs> between there and, and then. So it's, it's interesting to see that, you know, we have encountered the Thargoids. Yes. Probably before we knew we'd encountered the Thargoids. Okay. It's always fun. Mm. Go on then. I can see new string being attached to the uh, <laughs> You can hear it being pinned in. <laughs> so, the other event from the outside obviously looked like it required a fair amount of input from right across the team coordinating the voice talent which i just have to say was, was amazing, amazing wasn't it the voice talent yeah. just oh superb um new in-game assets additions to the law um how long ago was that story put together how long did it take to make all of that sort of come together because you've got a lot of feeds all coming into that um so the, the, it was from the pitch meeting really when we were talking about mm. our story arc so it was, it was straight away from the beginning um and i'll, I'll be honest that story uh, you know, as a bit of insight, that that changed probably twice. It was always the same. Um, we we had the same endpoint, but how it, how we got there was had changed sort of twice in between. Um, but yeah, it it took a lot of effort. You know, Lawrence had to uh, you know uh, correlate everything. The writer, the acting talent, secure budget for it because it's you know you can't just we don't just have actors mm -hmm. on standby, so we have to hire them in. Uh, then we have to pay for them and we have to justify that cost. So there's, yeah. there's a lot of stuff that goes into it that it, it's, it's, it's not like you say, it really isn't just as simple as, oh, we'll just do this thing and we're, and we're at it. In. Okay. A lot of planning. How did the Anchorman thing come about? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, best thing ever. <laughs> um, so, so we were talking about Halloween and I asked, sort of what Frontier does at Halloween. They said, oh, we have light hide streams. We do fancy dress, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I was like, well, you know what? Let's just, <laughs> let's just do something. <laughs> um, so we, I mean, again, we, we, I can't remember what our original idea was and it just didn't feel right. I can't remember what it was. We were, we were doing something and I can't remember what our plan was. It was to be, oh, that was it. We were going to do a riff on, um, uh, Star Trek, and we we're all going to be like, oh, okay. roles within the ship, and we we're going to go out and do stuff, and and we were never really as a group. We were just like it just doesn't 
it just doesn't feel like right. And I was like, look, if it doesn't feel right, let's just not do it because yeah. it will just come across as really bad. And I can't remember who suggested it. Um, I'm probably was me because I am a big fan of <laughs> Um And but I think someone said, said a news article and I was like, well, let's do it like Anchorman. And we did it in, we did it on the morning, actually. We did that whole skit on the morning of wow. the day went out. Um, and when we filmed it, we cut it all together. I mean, we thought it was funny. We were watching it. We were laughing back. And a lot of people said, this this won't be allowed. So I was like, probably not. Let's just put it out anyway. Oh, so, wow. <laughs> so uh, I put it out. And I'll be honest, I'm very lucky, man, that the community reacted the way they did. Because it was uh, we had we had a lot of good feedback on that. On that we skin. absolutely loved it. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. I, we yeah. couldn't believe it. We were sitting there because I love Anchorman. I love Anchorman. Re, slightly less enthusiastic about uh-huh. my love for Anchorman. Yep. But like brick, but. brick. I've got. Well, you probably know I've got a brick Tamlin doll. That's how much I love Anchorman. <laughs> so like <laughs> Benedetti in front of the weather map was. F- oh my was, god, that oh, was gorgeous. He was, he was. Well, yeah, he's found his role in, in niche. Sure. Yeah, he was. He was very, very funny. It was. It was great as well. Like just to watch him do it because. Like that was only like his second take, and he was just like, "Let's do it this way," and we just were like, "That's perfect." Don't you don't have to do anything else because that's just no, that's absolutely it. exactly how it needs to be. Um, <laughs> it was just it was a lot of fun, and you know it's good when you're laughing when you're making it. So we were Completely. like, if, we were, "If we're laughing when we're making it, then at least someone's going to laugh when, when we show it." Completely. Yeah. The temptation when you're giving all, all your answers there about the Anchorman thing, by the way, to go, I don't believe you is overwhelming, yes. but I won't because I'm better than that. <laughs> you're a better man than that. A better man than that. Well, you're not, but we'll just pretend. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else you want to add while we've got your attention? Yes. Um, no, it's, it's not what I add. I just want to say thank you, really, um, to Don't yourselves to. For, for doing the content, um, to, to everyone that, that listens to to just keep doing what you're doing. Um, whenever I, I watch content, whether it's good or bad, people criticising or not, I go welcome it. We all welcome it. It's um, it makes the game what it is. Um, we the game wouldn't be going as long as it was, and it's it's always I, mean, I hate doing this. I'm like, oh, if it's not for the community, but it really is because like. There's so many people like you. What's your customer base at the end of the day, isn't it? So yeah, yeah and and they, you guys really care, and we care, and it makes it honestly makes my job so much easier. I've reached out to players who put uh, criticizing content out and said, look, we're not happy with this, and I've reached out and said, look, thank you for for giving me this. It mm. makes actually makes my job easier because mm. mm. I can go away and I can give, you know, evidence of of community feedback and stuff. But I just want to thank everyone really for for sticking with us. Um, it's a great time to be an elite player. Um, some really cool stuff coming. Um, a lot of fun stories only just started really um, a lot of stuff that's that's coming down the line and some stuff that we're working on that hopefully will blow people's minds so yeah I think Fantastic. I think we'd probably echo that back at you actually wouldn't we we, we yes we we love what the, I, I won't pretend for one moment to speak for the rest of the community but just from what we get from our discord and how this household of as a little microcosm of elite players because we're all elite players in here, it's not healthy, honestly. We've got an unhealthy um, amount of accounts. Yeah, we've got an unhealthy amount of accounts. Um, <laughs> I think we'd echo that back at you. We we love um, what you've managed to do since you've come in, and then the way you've kind of rallied um, the and lads, the team together, the really. lads behind you, and yeah, it really feels like there's direction at the moment. Yeah. Galnet is it's is a good team. Is I loved Galnet, but I prefer Galnet now. It's it's fantastic, and I love all the CGs tying in and the story and the fact that it's going somewhere and that we're just love what you're doing at the moment. Please do more of it. Thank you very much. Yes, we appreciate it. It's, it's really, really kind. And, and and again, just to, to reiterate, like I, it's thank you for inviting me on. And I I, I actually have time for for all of you guys, but the team it is the team. It's not it's not a me thing. The, the guys are a huge proponent of this. You know, yeah. um, Bruce, Steve, and Paul, um, they work tirelessly behind the scenes to get this stuff done. I I simply couldn't do it. You know, it's great for me to to go and, and pitch stuff, but I couldn't pitch it without their work. And they, they, their work is they actually care. So without them putting the, the effort in, I couldn't do what I do. Great stuff. Kudos to the whole game. Please give our love to the rest of the sure. team, won't you? Yes. Absolutely, we'll do. Not Garrido, though. Screw that guy. <laughs> no, he's, he's a dick. Yep, he is. Yep, he is. Oh, yeah. It's out there now, isn't it? All yeah, right. Well, Thank well, you thanks, very James. much, Arthur. Always a pleasure, mate. You're welcome. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed our brief chat. I just want to extend our thanks to Arthur again for giving us some of his valuable time in what I know is a hectic schedule for them at the moment. We'll be back later this week with more stuff. See you then.